The Xbox 360 version of Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption is now backwards compatible on the Xbox One. If you have the game on a physical disc or bought it from the Xbox Store, with the download being 7GB, then you can play it on your Xbox One right away. You may need to restart your system fully to see the download or install it from disc. It should be noted that Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, and the Game of the Year Edition are all backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Interestingly enough, a lot of the multiplayer DLC is being offered for free. This includes Myths and Mavericks, Liars and Cheats, and Legends and Killers. Red Dead Redemption released in 2010 for the Xbox 360 and PS3 and has been highly requested for backwards compatibility since the feature was first announced for Xbox One. A PC port still seems unlikely, but at least Xbox One owners can experience the awesome narrative and open world. Hello Games' No Man's Sky has finally gone gold. The announcement was made on Twitter by creator and Hello Games co-founder Sean Murray when he held up a disc containing the game amidst other members of the development team. Going gold essentially means all principal work on the game is concluded and its discs are ready to be manufactured and shipped to consumers. No Man's Sky was originally slated to release in late June, but was delayed to allow time for more polish. Though many were fine with the delay, there were a good number of other people who weren't, including those who sent death threats to Murray. No Man's Sky is out on August 9th for the PS4 and PC. The hype is pretty strong with it. Amazon noticed in a recent survey that it's the most anticipated game of the year among customers. Ubisoft really are going all out on Watch Dogs 2, it seems, to make it a far better game than its predecessor, and one that fully realizes its promise. One of the many things they are adding to the game is a brand new parkour movement system and one that they say will give players a lot more freedom of movement. And they aren't just taking this casually either. Apparently the company hired experts to ensure they got the movement just right. We really wanted to offer a lot of freedom in the environment, said Danny Belanger, Watch Dogs 2's game director, when Gaming Bolt had a chance to chat with him exclusively. We call it free approach, so like a 360, you can arrive from any angle. Having a strong angle is fundamental to giving players choice and freedom, so we really wanted to improve that. We've obviously hired experts. In the end, it's really the experience of the player that matters, and bringing a lot of choice with impact was really fundamental. In the end, we just hope two things, that the parkour system is executed right, and that it has some reason for being in the game beyond being just some kind of cool gimmick. Given how well Watch Dogs 2 seems to be coming together, though, we don't think we need to worry too much. Titanfall 2 sounds like it will make good on the promise of the first game, chiefly by addressing all the areas of the otherwise very strong base there was weak. Essentially then, it sounds like the pitch for Titanfall 2 is Titanfall, but bigger and better. This is reflected in how Respawn are approaching so many things in the game. In an interview with CNET, for example, they confirmed that the game will have more pilot weapons than the first game. But it just won't be a case of quantity either, because the aim is to have each weapon feel different from the other, and have a variety of mods and attachments to add to these weapons and lead to further options. That's not all either. There will be a grappling hook in this game, and it sounds awesome. It's got physics to it so you can swing around and stuff, they said. If you get really good, it will actually bend around things. So if there's a building and a post on that building, it will wrap around that post a little bit, changing your momentum. So more weapons, more movement options, more choices, and all of it done better than the first game. Timefall 2 sounds like a hell of a game. Final Fantasy XV may be nearing its launch, but it's still very much a work in progress, and work on the game continues still. In an interview with Kotaku, Square Enix's Hajime Tabata, the director on the game, explained how the UI of the game, as well as the behavior of the NPCs, still needs to be worked on. We're going to do one final round of brushing up to improve the usability, playability of the UI, Tabata said. We're doing a little bit of brushing up of the NPCs too. We felt there was a lack of reality in some of the NPCs. There were still mock-ups a lot of the time, so we're brushing them up too. He also explained that final optimization work needs to be done on the game, although he admitted that this remains an issue so far, especially since the team doesn't want to compromise on its vision to make things work. I'm not gonna lie, that is a very difficult thing, Tabata conceded. It's hard work. It's troubling us doing that. If we just said we're going to cut this up to make it better, that could be quite easy, but we don't really want to do that. We've been keeping some people waiting about 10 years for this game now, so we really don't want to cut anything. For example, we could take away the number of enemies who appear at once, or cut down the number of effects on screen. It would be very easy to optimize it then, but we don't want to do that. The Witcher 3 developer CD Projekt Red has pretty much concluded development on the open world action RPG, and its Game of the Year edition is out in August. With that out of the way, the studio is now focusing on Cyberpunk 2077, with a job listing seeking a producer for the title. Along with two years of experience on AAA titles, the individual in question will be managing production on a day-to-day -day basis. You will have to relocate to Poland, but there's a package involved and lessons in Polish, so it's not all that bad. Cyberpunk 2077 is still a ways off from release, and we may not even see it for a couple of years. We hope you've enjoyed this video, so please consider subscribing to our channel. We do original content, reviews, graphics comparison, and much more, and try to upload a video every day. Thank you very much for checking us out.